Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, what I have here is uh, is uh, a gramophone kit that I bought when I was in Japan, um, and it's a copy of the original like Emil Berliner gramophone lathe. Uh, so it's a really simple. It's a basic analog machine. It's a paper cup. Uh, sound travels into the paper cup, uh, goes through uh, the needle, which is a basically a sewing machine needle, and cuts onto uh, what I'm what, what this is designed for is to cut and recycle CDs. So it cuts uh, discs onto CDs. Um, here's a blank disc, and uh, what we could do here is uh, let's put this on here, and uh, if I just going to ask a associate here, um, Brian, do you think you could uh, make a recording for me? Do some vocalizations and uh, blow some, make some noise into this, uh, well, uh, we're, uh, it's for, uh, she's uh, from the uh, University of it's Western, right? Yeah. In London. And they're doing a piece on the DIY culture. Sorry. 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 I'll, I'll fix it up for you. And, uh, the louder, the louder you are, like making your sounds, the better it's gonna come back on the machine. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So uh, what we'll do here is I'm gonna cue the machine up here and uh, get it set. The contact, brass contacts mean it's uh, recording, and uh, when I remove the contacts, then that's playback. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust it here, and uh, we're gonna let uh, experimental avant-garde musician Brian Random. Uh, take it away. Contacts, and uh, we'll put the mic up to the to the speaker, which is basically the input and output, and uh, play the record back, and you can hear uh, his voice now. Thanks, Brian. I need to tell. <laughs> yeah. The deeper you can hold it in there, the better. Better if I 